friends, Shauna Noel here, and I am so excited to introduce you to this month's Bible journaling kit from Illustrated Faith and Day Spring. It is so stinking cute! I am smitten kitten with this kit. First of all, this kit is written and designed by one of my favorite people in the whole wide world, Miss Elaine Davis. She is an amazing part of Illustrated Faith and I am so thankful that she agreed to share her heart with you this month and her gorgeous, super cute, so stinking fun art. This kit is so much different than anything we've had before and I am just so excited to dive in and see what Elaine has for us this month. I love her topic. I love how she shares it and I love this stinking cute bag. Um, this bag is what your kit will come in and I just think it's so fun. Normally, our sentiments on the front are kind of geared for you to keep or for you to give, but this one's definitely for you to keep. And I love that it says, I love my story because that's what Illustrating Your Faith is all about, is documenting that story and your testimony and your walk with God and kind of writing down what he's laying on your heart. All these adorable little graphics are just honestly the cutest thing I've seen ever. I want to, I I get a couple kits from Dayspring when um, the kits come in and normally I try to just keep one for myself and give the other ones away, but I think I might have to keep two for myself this month because I have some ideas on different ways to use this bag. I don't know about you guys, but I just, I just love it so much. Okay, so let's just dive in. First of all, I wanted to share too that I put this little white piece of paper in the front of my bag when I share it on video just because it helps the design pop off. But in person, the bag is actually clear, which makes it super cute. And then you can see all your stuff inside. But I just like you guys to be able to see the design when I first show it to you guys. So let's pull out all the goodies inside. First of all, if you're watching this on Monday when the kit first launches, um, the kit you can get on the sale for use code FAITH25, file the link in the comment section and use code FAITH25 and you can get 25% off if you order it by midnight. That sale is going on through midnight tonight. So early bird special, which we love. Okay. The heart of the kit right now is these beautiful devotionals and I love them so much. Um, so many fun things that I love about them, including their size. So they're, they go in a traveler's notebook size, which we have traveler's notebooks in the store. If you already have one, awesome. And I just love that I can pop this in my little notebook and carry it with me. But look how stinking cute this one is. I love her doodle designs and how they're color here and then go into black and white with the color blocking on top. I think that's so stinking cute. Her um, devotional is called Doodles to Live By and I just wanted to read kind of this intro paragraph to give you an idea of what we will be looking at this month. Elaine says, I've kept journals since I was old enough to hold a pen. There are boxes full of them, full of writing and doodles stacked in my parents' house. When people learn this about me, they often say they don't feel like they can keep a journal because they don't have anything important to say. Truth. Each of us has stories to tell, stories that have been stringing themselves together inside us like beads on a thread. Not every story is something earth shattering, but they are all earth shaking. Moments and blinks have pieced together from stories that form our testimony. Our responsibility is to get them out on paper because God may have someone out there just waiting and needing to read those words. The Lord wrote the saga that is your story long, long ago. He has finished it for some time and knows how it ends, but he has put the particular stories and memories in you for a reason. You are his typewriter. Get your life, his epic novel, on paper. And then she gives you some prompts to kind of jump in. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we were going to be talking about this month. And I love how she just like, let's just kick it out of the bar park from day one. We're just gonna own that our testimony is important to share and document. So then each day she gives you the prompts, questions and then also the little doodle which I really love that each day has its own little doodle. I'm going to kind of quickly show you this one's a little coffee cup, the little eyes which are super cute, a little house, the cross, a guitar, the hands, a lightning bolt, the clouds and rains, a leaf, 
glasses and a heart and I love that each one of those has the graphic at the top I am secretly don't tell anyone kind of thinking about cutting this out maybe and using this in my entry on some days I don't know I just love it so much and I love the journal so I, I don't want to take it apart but at the same time I do love those a lot so I'm kind of trying to think about how I want to work through this already but I'm so excited for it Okay, before we jump into the stamps, let me show you these little tippins, which again, I'm obsessed with this cover, so I'm so excited that it is landed on a tippin because I love it. And I just wanted to quickly, for those of you that are new to Bible journaling and new to our kits, I wanted to quickly show you how these kind of work. So these are formatted to fit right in your margin. So you could actually use these even if you didn't have a Bible journal or you just wanted to use them in your planner, those sort of things. But these fit right in the margin of your Bible so you can journal right on top of here. I like to washi tape them on the edge so that you can simply flip them, do extra journaling here. It essentially triples your journaling space by using these um, when you use them in that way. Last month, I believe it was, Tanya was showing how to washi tape them in the gutter of your page, which is a really another really fun way to use them. You can also simply use them as a bookmark, of course. So these are super versatile. I love that you can journal on them outside the Bible and then stick them in your Bible later. This one says, how I rest best. And again, I'm just like obsessed with her design work on this. The back of these all have these really pretty solid colors. So you can use those for journaling on the back. This one has 1 Peter 4.10 on it. And then this one's black and white, so you can color that in. Oh, it's so stinking cute. I love it so much. This, this kit is just like killing it. So adorable. Elaine rocks. Each kit comes with a little thank you note. So this one is Doodle Slow By, and it just has a little thank you note from me. A little magnet, which these are so cute I love them so much I am trying not to hoard them because <laughs> I love them but basically what they do is they're a little magnet and they sit on top of your page and then that little cross sticks out of your Bible it's so adorable and I love this again that black and white graphic design Elaine did it's just so much fun so let's pop this back on here I try not to hoard it <laughs> Okay, so that's adorable, the little magnet that comes in it. And then you get two sheets of the stickers, which oh, I love. I love the alphabets. I am an alphabet sticker lover. And these are the same size as your traveler's notebook, so you can slip them right inside your journal covers. If you don't have a journal cover, I'll link to some of those in the description below as well. I love this alpha because it comes with all these beautiful colors. So when you spell out a word, it'll be like, you know, different colors and it won't necessarily be in order. And that's just artistic and doodly. It goes perfectly with the kit. You could also take these and stamp on them if you wanted um, to do a little design on them. But I love the solid color I think they're perfect and just so much fun then you get this sticker set and it comes with your numbers so you have the alphabet here and then you have just a couple numbers on top Elaine has done such a fabulous job designing these stickers so she has the coffee cup a little a little pencil some cute little pattern stickers here a big today a be kind and she has the black and white graphics on here so you could either leave them black and white or color them in Cute little light bulb, let go praise, eyeglasses, the guitar. So I like how she's incorporated a lot of the graphics right here into the sticker page so that you can use those as you're working through each day. Sanctuary, some little pattern stickers here and uh, two little tab stickers as well. This little typewriter, like so sinking cute. So cute, I love it. Okay, before we jump into the stamps finally, I'm gonna show you this washi tape, which again, I love. You guys know me and washi, I'm like obsessed. So it has healed, enriched, loved, and then healed again. It just repeats from there. So it's these really cute little pencils, which I love pencils and I use them all the time. Like the shape of them, I think they represent so much, like not only the shape of them, but you know, written on our heart, his story for us and then also for me like school childhood so it, it invokes a lot of feelings when I see pencils they're so cute let me see if I can just put this on a piece of paper so you can see it a little closer it 
And again, I love that we try to use a design that's really fun and versatile, but then incorporate words so that it really ties into the devotional. But again, it's versatile to use in other things, if that makes sense. Love them. So cute. Okay, so let's check out the stamp set. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And you know what I'm already excited about, you guys? Is this. Because I see that and I think I can use this. I don't need to cut up the cover of my devotional. So I'm really excited about that. Let's check out these stamps first. Um, here, let me grab this paper again to show you guys. So cute. So there's my pencil again. I'm really excited about that. And how cute is that little scribble? I know it seems silly, but that to me can be used just like the paint splatters, the cross splatters, like all those little background things that you can scatter across your page. I think that's so much fun. Love this heart, expressing my faith, so stinking cute. The eyes, the hand, the doodles to live by, which I love when there's one stamp in the kit that you can use on each of your pages and then put like the theme that she's giving you that day. Love that. Individually or individuality, the crosses, a heart, this little cute little cloud, my story is his story, and then doodled by. I love little boxes that encourage you to fill in things too. I think those are so fun. So I'm just obsessed with this. So fun. And done, done, done. Look at that cutie patootie there, Miss Elaine. So this is where Elaine gives you guys a little letter and says, Hey sweets, I'm Elaine Davis and you have no idea how special it feels to be sharing my heart with you in these pages. I'm a paper, paper crafter and graphic designer for Illustrate Faith and the manager of their digital shop. I live in central Indiana with my nerdy husband Ian and kitten Phoebe. Our tiny apartment is filled with paints and papers and glue sticks. I'm a list maker, bookworm, dreamer, and professional at making it up as I go. I've been filling journals with thoughts and doodles since I was little. In Doodles to Live By, I wanted to fill the pages with all sorts of things that enrich our souls. As you work through each day, you'll explore some blessings I've found to be super healing, enriching, and restorative. From my heart to yours, Elaine Davis. And I love even her little signature. It's adorable. Everything she does is so cute. So let's just talk about right off the bat. You can use other things from here like the extra parts you can use this back so I always like to cut out tabs from this but she's giving you one two three big big chunky little tabs that you can paper or paper piece out or you can use your punch if you want to just kind of make it up as you go and then these banners which I love that they're black and white and even like this extra paper in the background is really cute she has little polka dots on it these three big chunky um, rectangles one says today doodles live by and then the pattern and then a pencil cup let it go and light bulb so she's given you so many graphics that uh, this one's really going to be super fun to just kind of play with and really incorporate your own style into your design as your bible journaling it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait to see what you do with it don't forget to use this for your tabs cut all this out like use every bit that you can is my my philosophy with it I love it it's so stinking cute so I hope you guys are as excited to jump in to doodles to live by and document your testimony in this really beautiful and creative way she is giving you some really thought-provoking questions and sentiments to just jumpstart us into this creative documentation of our testimony written by our father all right you guys i hope you'll join us don't forget if you order by tonight and use code faith 25 you get 25 percent off and i just cannot wait again to see how you guys document your testimony in your doodles in your margins of your beautiful Bible. Let's fill this up with stories that glorify him. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.